So today I want to talk about a problem I have. So I have a bicuspid heart, which basically means you have three medium valves and I only have two, and I have two large ones. And one of my valves is leaking. So basically my heart is literally falling apart. And this all came new to me because a while back I was working out at the gym and I had this pain in my chest. And the next morning, the pain was still there. And it was just for me working out very hard. But I decided to go see a doctor about that. Just better safe than sorry. He was a pretty cool guy. He was from Nigeria. I loved the sound of his accent. And he looked at me and said, you know what they say, no pain, no gain, but I would like to listen. And he looked at me and said, well, I said to him, what do you think? And he said, well, I would say you would have to go to the hospital. And I'm like, you're joking. And I mean, when? And then he looked at me and he said, I mean now. So that was very shocking news to me. And then they took a picture of my heart and then they sent me to a cardiologist and his name was Dr. Champagne and he was explaining to me like he came in with a serious look on his face by looking at his face I knew how serious the situation was so I never even heard of a bicuspid heart before basically it exists in 2% of the population and Within that 2%, there's a fraction of it only have problems. And what he was telling me was in the future and not a far future, less than two years away, I'm going to have something like a heart attack. It isn't technically a heart attack, but it's like a heart attack. It's gonna feel like someone stabbed me in the back and it's gonna feel, it's gonna be the worst pain in my entire life. I'm gonna faint and I can't remember all the other stuff he said. And then they're going to cut me open and they're going to give me a new chamber. So like a third chamber to relieve the pressure on Apparently Arnold Schwarzenegger had this type of heart. Fatality, I believe he said, was at 12%, which is higher than I've ever been, but it isn't that high. But looking at the rest of my life, that's the highest it's ever been at. After that, I'm then going to have to take drugs for the rest of my life to keep my heart going. The bad side of everything is I'm having problems sleeping. I haven't been sleeping that well. I've been getting depressed and I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. Uh, like this, I don't know how to take this a positive way. But on the good th side of things is I become, I feel like I'm becoming a better person. I've been letting things go. I've been forgiving people. I've also been apologizing for mistakes that I have made and owing up to those mistakes. So, Right now, I'm actually getting ready to go parachuting. I've never done skydiving before in my life, and I'm excited for it because if you asked me a year ago, I would have said, hell no. I no longer have fears in my life. 
I met a lot of interesting and famous people in the world, but I'm starting to appreciate the company of my friends and family more. I mean, I have traveled the world, but I'm starting to appreciate the little things more and more. And you know, thinking about it, this is something that's gonna happen in the future. It doesn't exist today. The same way how people are depressed about things in the past, it doesn't exist today. So I'm gonna try and enjoy the present more, but this is something that's in some way or another gonna happen to all of us eventually because we're not invincible. And sometimes we forget to appreciate life. In some ways, I wish I was diagnosed a lot sooner because I feel I've become a better person because of this all. So I hope by me sharing this story with you that you guys can take from it, learn from it. Um, Stand up for yourself. Don't hold on to grudges. Life is just too short. But I'm a strong person. I will get through this.